that's the I think if there was a focus of my work is just to something appeals to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It might not be this one, it might not be that one, but something that I do is gonna make somebody want to look at it again. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what a lot of a lot of art is supposed to do is make you want to go back and get that first emotion you had because you know that first thing that comes to mind is most most often the truest you know what I mean there doesn't need to be a bio or there doesn't need to be uh, any kind of explanation it's just it's more of that feeling and that emotion that you know makes a piece a successful piece in my book you know I don't feel like I don't feel like I earned the right to title that piece when I created it for other people to look at it, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure, I put a lot of myself into it, but that's the same. I mean, what, whatever clothes you put on that day, people could title you any way you want, you know what I'm saying? I, I think as far as a title, work can speak to so many people in so many different ways that it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to hold any clout or, or any weight in any one projected area it's it's more about the experience and what you get from the piece and what the piece kind of reads to you I mean it's like a book you know some people can read the same book and interpret it five different ways some people hate it some people change their life you know what I'm saying I don't think my art does that you know take like the ocean it's a horizontal plane if you're standing on the beach just those two shapes the shape of the sand and the shape of the ocean like why is that so pretty? You, I mean, you, you get the horizon line of the sand to the water and the actual horizon line of the sky. And it's like, you have three, three parallel lines with different spacing if you really break it down. And it's just, it's really hard to explain why your eye is so taken aback by that, you know? So I think with my stuff, it's, it's the same way, you know? I mean, there is no, there's no direct content. It's whatever that, Whatever that image relates your brain to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it might be a pinstriping design that looks like a tiki that takes you back to your honeymoon in Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might be a piece that looks with some torchwork that looks like a Japanese garden that takes you, you know, to a peaceful place. I mean, it's a, it's really the the correlation of shapes and colors and sizes. To emotions and that's that's left up to each individual who looks at the work I mean there is no there's no way to explain that why ten people would have ten different reactions to a piece of work I think through going through a lot of shows <clears throat> and like being in school and seeing that like people really didn't call it finished or whatever until it was like title medium size you know all that kind of jazz like I just always took from it that once you were, once that was projected upon you, like you had to look at it a certain way. The message is to just really, hopefully up on my part, that it, it, it takes you somewhere. You don't need to share that place with me. Even that, that place, I mean, if it's real or if it's fake, I mean, that doesn't need to be shared, but that's what artwork, and that's, I mean, any artist in general, whether it be a filmmaker, I mean, a, a cook is an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, you know, uh, anyone who's creative really, really tries to accomplish something. And I think some people just say it better than others, you know, but uh, everyone tries to do the same thing.